What's up, gang? Welcome back to the channel. Just heading home from work. Uh, going to meet the cake dealer for some Puerto Rican food. Down by us, uh, there's a place called Casa Adela. It's been highly recommended uh, by some folks in the uh, Facebook Zoos Owners Group. And I've been meaning to check it out for a while. Finally got the time to do it today. It's cash only, no delivery, so you really got to show up, get yourself a seat, and, and just do it. So uh, we're psyched for that. Heading there now, crossing 18th Street. Our neighborhood has a lot of uh, really good budget-friendly Puerto Rican and Dominican restaurants. There's um, Castillo de Jagua, one and two. There's two of them. There's also uh, kind of a knockoff called Castillo de Manhattan. That's on Madison, Lower East Side. Never rode through here before. Pretty sure it comes out the other end. We'll see. Uh, another great spot in that same vein that I've been to is way up in South Bronx. It's called uh, Coochie Fritos 188. Yeah, that didn't go as planned. I know there's a way through over to uh, like Avenue C, which is right where I need to go, but I got turned around. So I'll just do this. Teeth is wide open. So this place is on uh, Avenue C and like right near 5th Street between 4th and 5th. So it's super close to home. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll pull up. And then I think um, it should still be light out by the time we finish. So I'll give you a quick ride out home and to make the cake dealer walk home without me. Because <laughs> uh, it's not far, so I'll have to be quick with my little review, my post rot, my post uh, meal review. So tell me some of the places that you like to go to for Puerto Rican, Dominican, Caribbean food. We got a lot of good options in this city, but I am not extremely versed on, I only know like the few places that I know and I know they're good, but if there's better, let me know. What's this guy doing? All right, this is seven, so two more streets and we're there.
pretty sure it's up on the left. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I got the flags out front. All right. All right, I'll see you guys on the inside. So Casa Adela, that was awesome. Creeping. We did the uh, we did the chicharrones, the chicken chicharrones. Those were really good. Nice crispy fried batter on those. Whatever that red spice is that's on there, man, so good. Also really like that soup. So that soup has like oxtail in it and all sorts of root vegetables. Really rich and delicious. Oxtail cooked perfectly. The roasted chicken was nice, no dryness. Usually a lot of times the breast gets a little dry, but it was perfect. I really like that, uh, especially with that hot sauce that I showed you. That was really good stuff. That hot sauce like papaya and scotch bonnet. Real spicy, but cuts the sweet a little bit. Uh, really liked the, um, the pernil. That roast pork just falls apart, man. And that crispy skin on there. Oh, fatty, sticky, crispy skin. Banging. Got to get back there to try the mofongo though. So yeah, I, I highly recommend this place. I mean, you saw all that food we got. It was only like 50 bucks. Amazing. So get over to my website, johnnyprimesteaks.com. Check out the full review. See the pictures. Read the review. Don't forget to uh, like. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop some comments down below. And you know, tell your friends, tell your fucking grandma. <laughs>